What's going on everybody? I am the Bad Duck and you are the internet. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing our yearly Super Bowl trailer reactions video. It's Deadpool 3. Um Maybe? That's what it's called? It's been a challenge. He looks weird with hair. It looks absolutely fucking weird. Years, for sure. But I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. I'm the luckiest man alive. Didn't he carry watch Deadpool 2, apparently? <laughs> is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. Is it? It is to pay. Okay, makes sense. Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I was unconscious. Who are you? <laughs> Why am I here? Walk with me. Wait. <laughs> What's the name tag? This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. The costume looks good. It's more red than usual, which is fine by me. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. Yeah, I like I like how more red it is. I, I like the the redness of it. Yeah, that costume looks good. Slight tweaks, but like, it looks good. It's not too MCU'd. I've seen this in gift form 15 million times this week. There he is. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what they're calling it. I'm excited to see a new Deadpool movie. I'm very happy we're finally getting another Deadpool. Um, no big concerns coming out of that. Um, I like the costume, looks better now. Um, a little more red, a little bit of tweaks that were needed, but no, I have no problems with it. Um, I'm excited for it. I think this is the first time I've actually been excited for a Marvel film in a little bit. Um, not that Marvel has gone bad, I think Marvel is doing fine right now. I I just haven't been excited for a specific project in a while. So, But I, I am very excited for this. Twisters? There's a new Twister movie? That shit is good. Twister scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, just because it was like, I, natural disasters are scary, and I live in an area that is like, right above Tornado Alley, so like, I don't like tornadoes. Anthony Ramos has got a lot of work lately. I'm pretty sure it was Anthony Ramos. But the man to steal it. Is it Glenn Powell? That that's Glenn Powell.
I think digest movies don't work nowadays. Ever since like 2012, the movie 2012. I don't mean the year 2012. The movie 2012. Digest movies kind of have just fallen off. They're they're not how they were back in like the 90s. They they, they don't hit as hard. Um, I mean, Glenn Powell is a good actor. I hope I like I like him. Um, but like, I don't know if it's enough to bring me to a movie that's a sequel to a movie from like 25, 30 years ago. That's based on tornadoes, and we see tornadoes every day. I mean, there's like 500 last year. So, um, but like having two twi- having two tornadoes doesn't spook me because we see it all the time in real life, and it's not like a big thing unless they're F5. So unless it's two F5s colliding, I don't give a shit. But like, I, d- I don't think that such movies really work nowadays. Looks like getting a show. I still haven't seen Sonic 2. Uh, okay, thankfully it's still Idris Elba. Who are you, my guy? Hey, buddy. Isn't it great to finally relax? I am an echidna warrior. The, the success of the Sonic franchise is so surprising because of the original reveal of Sonic's character design. And how well it's done since then, it, it's amazing kind of how that, that worked out. I only remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the Fox. So I made myself at home! Nope, we are not turning our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is that doing? The challenge is greatest enemy. Is that our mailman? <laughs> Okay, that's cute. So I will begin my quest. Come, Weed. Most people think I'm a joke. I do not make jokes. I make warriors. <laughs> oh, don't call it that. That ruins it. You ruin hype for a second season. If like people really want a second season, they want to see more of Knuckles and stuff like that. And now you make it sound like it's a, like a six episode movie, which people hate nowadays because that's what Marvel has been doing. And it extend it just doesn't feel right. You just don't call it a six episode event. Just call it first season. But I hope we do get a Shadow show when after Sonic Three drops, because I love Shadow. That's cool as fuck. The Sonic franchise is very cute. I love. I think it's very well done. Especially, it, it hits that perfect amount of nostalgia at the same time as being a kids' project. At the same time as like being for you know older people. So I think it's great. Okay, this movie's supposed to come out in 2019. We're five years later, and they're finally getting a trailer for it. So um, I'm not a big musical theater person. I know, contrary to what I've been putting out lately, but like. If this trailer surprises me, I can be into it. Is that Ariana Grande? It is Ariana Grande. Don't know her actress' name. She looks familiar. What's her actress' name? They're gonna tell us, but... I'm not afraid. 
afraid of. It's the wizard who should be afraid of me. I definitely need to see more to actually be like to like actually give a verdict on that. I'm I'm very confused about what's going on. Um I mean, I need a little bit more. Just I need to see a little bit more just to be convinced of. So I I've seen the first quiet place. I haven't seen the second one. Um but this is a prequel, so I don't think anything's going to be ruined for me, but like this will be interesting. Well, it's not day one. The, the, the thing's called day one. And you're starting at day 472. Crow Place is a very interesting idea. A very interesting concept. I just... It's Kenny Murphy. He's in part two. I know that. Yeah, there's day one. Okay. Um... He's a good actor. Ooh, I don't like that. The the thing with like these monster movies and stuff like that, I don't like to be told what they are and how I don't need to be. I don't want an explanation. I never want that. Like the Cloverfield monster, sure, there's evidence to point us in a direction with what happened and, and like how this started and all, everything like that with all the the AR bullshit. But um, this, like a whole movie explaining how this started, where it began, where like stuff like that. I don't like that idea because it's such a mystery and especially showing the monster so like in the in the bright lights and stuff like that is i think ruins the the effect of everything i think that um a concept like this works perfectly when you have no idea what's happening and there's so much mystery around it and you have people talk about it consistently because of the mystery around it and it gets your it keeps your movie in like the um fresh in people's fresh in people's minds i prefer probably a part three to this rather than a prequel to this i don't want an explanation that's the thing um but sure i guess i, I i'll check it out i still have to check part two out so i've been starting to watch the new plan of the eighth films i haven't finished them all but um i'm very interested to see this second trilogy apparently Yes, I am. In their time, humans were capable of many great things. They fly like eagles fly. They could speak across oceans. But now it is. So we saw Caesar start the revolution, stuff like that, and honestly, awesome, whatever. Um, I'm very interested if all these movies, these, these three to six movies, whatever, however many movies they're making out of, this, out of the Planet of the Apes franchise, eventually leads to the first movie that we had uh, back in like 1966. I, I, I'm very curious to see if that's what we're leading up to, um, eventually having that reveal at the end of the series, but um, it, it's just interesting to see that the, this portion of the universe being explored. We'll 
it's not like we haven't seen the apes rule Earth before. We've seen, again, like I said, we saw the 1966 film. So it's not like we haven't seen the apes rule really before. That's why I think the, the the previous trilogy was so interesting is because it was the start of the apes starting to take control. And it, we didn't even know if that's the direction they would take. We didn't know that that's the, if the, that was going to be a successful thing. So um, I, I'm interested to see this, though. May 10th. Why though? That's cool. I'm interested, honestly. I like I said, we we've, we've seen this concept of the apes ruling Earth before, but like that, I think this is just interesting and how they're framing it. It looks, it looks like an epic story. So, are we getting a samurai show? What the fuck? FX making a samurai show. And putting a Super Bowl commercial for it. Okay. Is it an event or is this like a whole show? These people are godless savages. Or maybe they just don't give a shit what you think. <laughs> Is this about a female samurai? I'm sold. What a shot. Okay. So that looks awesome. I, I mean, FX has been known recently to keep kind of like the the big time shows going. And they're very consistent about how they put stuff out. Um, like the bear. So, um... Honestly, I'm so old already. I'm that looks awesome. So yeah, that was all the trailers for Super Bowl 58 I believe that was the number. I always forget the fucking number uh, But honestly, I'm super excited for the next year of coming up for uh, movies and TV um, I think that there's a lot of things that look brought like look really good this year um, There's a lot of question marks like I said with like the uh, quiet place project that they put out but I'm really interested to see where this year goes because everything I got pushed back to 2025 it seems because of COVID and SAG and stuff like that. So I, I feel like just the, the 
we're finally catching back up to where we're supposed to be with movies and prod, uh, movies and TV and stuff like that since the pa pandemic hit. Um, but the SAG pushed things back, which is of course okay. But uh, I think we're finally starting to get back to that area, and I'm very excited to see where we, we start pushing the boundaries of, of everything and see where we go from here um, and into 2025. I, I think that this is um, going to be a really weird year just because of all the pushbacks and stuff like that. But um, I'm very interested to see where we go from here. Let me know what you guys are most excited from from these trailers, and then uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.